Hello everyone, Lord A. John here with another Grey Goo replay. Take two, because apparently my mic was muted. And I'm going to have to record the previous replay I just casted. So, yeah, I'm very disappointed right now in myself. Spawn on the bottom left side, as a beta player, we have I Prey. Now, up here, as a goo player, we have Glador, a beta versus goo. There are currently five drovers here. The scouting one, the scouting drover did manage to live, and there's three commandos. All depends on p positioning and focus firing. The commandos can win out, I believe. Though, they have to be focus firing every single one. And get first shots off and not be stacked up. As you can see, he's constantly spreading them out just in case that the drovers ever get a bit of a drop on them. He is building a second refinery very close, often in the small hub to be the production rate, get their refinery right next to it. Perhaps he's afraid of the, being cut off in between uh, moving around. There are five drovers, they're attacking the war factory. They can't really do much damage since the 10 armor, they only do one damage. And he's building a commando, uh, he did put the guy on the wall somewhere, now he actually did garrison it. And now, he's probably going to, when this commando comes out, wait, he paused it. He paused it to prevent it from coming out too early, and so he got his guys in position. Now he unpaused it, now he has all, all four commandos pretty uh, good in combat. Very, very nice micro. Paused it before it came out, and once they pulled away and started engaging, he then he popped it out. Very nice. Though he should probably uh, place the low health, lowest health commando up here. To give as much health as possible and defend, or perhaps you could just send it on a suicidal scouting mission. Currently, he's building the tank attachment, planning to get some more technologies, or just probably predators. Currently, there's four drovers in that bush, just four drovers here, and maybe we can see some striders, perhaps more drovers. He is opting in to go for our additional four drovers. Currently there are ten commandos out because each commando is one population. Or perhaps <coughs> never mind. I was talking out loud. These four drovers are in a bit of an ambush position, trying to get in in the bush. Looks like these four drovers are going in, while these 8th drovers coming around for a flank. Very nice. These 4 drovers immediately back up. Look at that. He's keeping his units nice and spread out to prevent them from being splashed down. There's additional 4 drovers here. Looks like they're all in the... sort of like the outside the bush. Now the first commando's in the bush, so he, they will get some vision. He actually killed the one that it looks like he actually popped his head out. One more commando goes in. With a superior number of commandos in this, only able to engage him one at a time, he's losing these drovers. Five commandos. Oh wait, he is actually attacking this uh, small hub. He's trying to run this commando in, and he does not get the commando onto the wall segment. This small hub may go down. He needs to get some units here. With only three armor for the small hub, they can actually drovers do two damage per shot. And plus, he's actually need some additional splash damage by hitting everything else. This uh, guy is trying to get on top of the wall. He's being focused on. He's run down, sort of body block. This commander's almost making it. He almost made it. He gets on, and he got killed in midair. The small hub does go down. Do note, there's also another refinery over here. Perhaps it oh, looks like he also is now garrisoning with the wall seconds as I said it. Two predators are out with their with their uh, large amount of armor and a higher rate of and superior fire compared to commandos, they should be able to deal with us. Running through the commandos, still leaving one behind. Predators are trying to run forward. The small hubs. 10 seconds away from on coming back online to get the third refinery, the second refinery up and going. So he can have all three refineries refining. Turn the goo player is on four mother goos. Do we see any tech? No, we don't see any tank tech. Perhaps a uh, detonation pack for the commandos will be quite helpful if he continues building uh, drovers. But the uh, 
Uh, let's see. What was it called? Hailstorm Avalanche. The siege unit. Hailstorms are artillery. Avalanches are the. No, hail. Hailstorms are the artillery. Avalanche is the siege. I always get those two backwards for some odd reason. We are seeing a couple wall segments coming up. It looks like he's going to put in both the predators. I assume so. And may he could just invest to a seeker to go and just stay in the bush. Come on over here. These commandos are trying to destroy this uh, catalyst event plug, but it will take quite a bit of time since it does have 4,000 health. And plus, these uh, drovers are coming in. He should have tried to jump on, on top of that wall now, but he's not paying attention. He's not paying attention. He tries to jump. Nope. Once again, dies as while he's jumping. That wall will buy him some time. Nope. He's not going to finish off, finish off that wall. He should get one of those commandos on this wall segment now. What is he doing? The goo player's going for another harassment. Got the hangar coming down, air attachment, and artillery. So we are going to see some bomber craft. The predator, a predator maybe should get up there. A predator will be getting up there. Now this predator will in a very good sustained position, but once again he lost the small hub. Additional refining time, uh, is refining is lost while he's also lost all that money and even though the commando jumped up there and died it still shows the lock position the hunker down position a mother goose actually straight in the middle that's the catalyst node there is a refinery here so he needs to get back here and save it perhaps he needs to garrison these mounts but the problem is he doesn't have vision in now uh, inside that area the commandos did get get a brief look in there but he needs to run these predators in. One of the striders did poke out and that one did die. Another one poked out and died. You can see they're attacking that one wall segment to the right. Oh, he's going to try to eye and get the mother goo perhaps. Oh, Kamado runs in. He does have a vision. Maybe got one or two kills. Probably should go back to this screen. Now the predators are running forward. There is a lot of predators here, so they can actually deal with these striders. We got some more striders coming in, but the reinforcements are just very uh, powerful. A lot of these striders did go down, but there's small proteins coming from every direction. One of the small proteins actually gets sniped. The commander did get is in the vision, so giving all that very valuable in intel. The stock goes in and dies. One of those striders is very low on health. This predator can't jump, cannot jump down there because he is pretty low on health himself. This extractor may go down. He doesn't get some reinforcements. There are some. Oh wait, there's more harassment over here. Oh crap! I should pay attention more to the mini map. We are seeing some. I think that's Nimbus, not Warbird. And this uh, harassment or. I don't know if it's considered harassment or a siege, but it has been dealt with. Current the goo, the beater player is on six while uh, refineries, while the goo player is on seven. No, wait. Make that nine mother goos now. There are some striders here. This area has not been harassed, but there is a commando here to protect it from any light harassment. These uh, commandos will be able to deal with these striders. And there goes that area. Looks like he's going to eye in this rich 13 catalyst pool. It could, I think, the positioning so you can get it. Maybe even three, up to three refiners in that rich catalyst pool there. That would be the most optimal situation. The goo player is now on all 12 mother goos. We do see a lot of uh, additional forces here, putting out some more and more uh, wall segments just to get those mountain locations. He is starving for cash because he's, he's currently building the refinery. He's at 10 seconds left, but stalled for cash. 
predators are out in the front. Predators should stay near these commandos in the wall segments. He looks like going regears in the pred predators. The finery is almost up. Will be a bit of time before that refining actually gives some income back. Looks like this group of commandos will go out and scout, but they'll, all they see is a large army. Wait, are the Nimbus done? There is a. Is that Nimbus done? No, it's not. That just in the production screen. One Nimbus is done, so it can do deal 50 damage with with uh, was two or three bombs? Three bombs. That is enough to destroy this entire uh, army. Well, the three shots is enough to destroy any units in, within this army. Drovers only take two. Striders takes all three. There's also Hailstorm Artillery, so we are going to see some heavy mechanized play. We are going to see engagement. This wall segment is up, these Hailstorms are trying to run back. The Nimbus actually do have Catalyst Bombs, so we're going to see uh, some flames here. Wait, it's not actually done yet. This uh, Nimbus should be placed on attack move order. And these, uh, this goo army just straight up died. It didn't really do that much, though. I don't think it actually killed any of the artillery. Didn't really pay attention. I was more focused on the Nimbus. The Catalyst Bomb is almost complete. Now it's complete. And these bombers need to get over here now. One of the bombers is. No, he's going back up north. What is he thinking right now? He sees he's focused on this fight here. But he doesn't see that this uh refining area it has been destroyed. These bombers are gonna come in. Two bombers can get a very good surprise attack. And here comes the uh the flames of purification. And that army was pretty much destroyed by those bombers. The flame damage increases the radius. The damage is still the same, if I remember correctly. It does the damage over time, though, instead of initial damage. But the radius is much, much greater. He does have some Tempests out. Tempests do do 20 damage per shot, and these, uh... Nimbus do have 175 maximum health, so they can withstand some fire, but not a whole lot of it. There is a bashing here, interesting choice. Well, I suppose to, to absorb as much damage as possible, but he probably needs some more frontline units because he doesn't have much off the attacking units at this point. Though I love my bastions, okay, now he actually has an arm to back it up. We do see these uh, forces coming in to harass, playing more and more of the fires of liberation. Remember, place your Nimbus on attack move so they can automatically dispense all the bombs. He does not have a move and shoot force artillery, which is a bit of a problem, I say. He has a lot of AA coverage, so calling in bombers is very ill advised at this moment. Though it may be worth it, because they do have the fire bombs. There is actually a lot of artillery in this bush. Though some of them are being taunted. Now with the uh, Bastion dead, they are no longer being taunted. The Goo Orc to AA is actually engaging, almost killing that unit. Perhaps he should invest to uh, hangar repair pads. And he actually is going for hangar repair pads in the economic techs upgrade area. I 
should probably close my window. I live in an apartment park complex and I hear people talking outside. Looks like he's also going to apply some pressure onto these mother goos. Getting some hefty amount of damage. It looks like he's going to come in for a counterattack. One of the Nympus do go down. He does have one bomb left. Place an attack move. To make it dispense his bomb and go back to base. Two players were running up his army. The artillery does nothing to one shot one entire crew. That's very nice. The bastion is down, so they can now really engage the ground forces. Bad shot there. He needs to fire into this crew. Overshot. Another wave of artillery coming in and gets a huge amount of their army. The Goo player has sustained heavy amount of losses. The beater player is trying to get back up this refining area, and looks like player has been eliminated. Uh, I think that would be the Goo player that surrendered. I think so, because usually the command center blows up and never said who was victorious, who lost. So I'm assuming the Goo. Oh yeah, definitely the Goo player lost with his uh, flanking force wiping out all these mother goos. So <laughs> even putting wall segments on the rich oak nodes preventing the mother goos from finding. Yeah, the Goo player actually did lose. This was a very good replay. This is Lord A. John saying thank you for watching and signing off.